everybody and welcome back to another episode of minecraft very exciting uh so today we are making a sanctuary for the bees where they can reside safely amongst the flowers and we can worship them <laughs> yeah so today it's kind of a you know mix between a, a bee cult space and uh just a bee sanctuary so it'll it'll be really fun so let's get started oh and uh i decided to bring finn along today because i feel like he hasn't uh really been too present in a lot of the videos but uh, i figured building is a pretty safe activity so he can like you know he, c he could tag along and i don't have to worry about him getting hurt all right let's get started i uh i started out with the um you know a general structure uh or sorry the the foundation for the build itself and obviously i still have to do some filling in with this back part here um for the dirt but that's pretty tedious and I'm assuming, um, you know, just throughout playing the game I'll be able to get more dirt because I don't really feel like going out to uh, get some more right now, but that's okay. I'll be following a few tutorials uh, throughout this, so, um, you know, I'll, uh, if I remember, of course, I will post them uh, in the link in the description. So yeah, let's, let's get started as, as the sun sets. And oh, I have a little, I have a little friend in a boat here. Um, I, uh, I don't really have a name for him yet, but he followed me when, uh, uh, I was doing this, uh, groundwork for the, for the build, so, uh, oh, I have a name, I have a name, Jeremy, yes, it's perfect, so Jeremy here is gonna be helping Finn and I build this, so yeah, let's get started, well, I hope you're all having, uh, a lovely, lovely summer so far, so far, I haven't really done too much other than, um, you know, <laughs> Minecraft, but, uh, you know, I, I went to the beach, uh, a while, like, I, I, uh, went on vacation with my family on the beach a, a little while ago, and, um, <laughs> that was nice, but one night, I literally just, like, I couldn't sleep, so, oh, nice, I nailed that, I literally couldn't sleep, so I, I, uh, at about, like, three or four in the morning, I decided to walk to the beach, and, um, <laughs> Oh my gosh, I, <laughs> so I, I, I skateboard, I didn't walk to the beach, I skateboarded to the beach, uh, cause it, we were like relatively close to where we were, and so I'm like, you know, la da la da skateboarding around, I like, you know, I get, I get to the beach, I sit up in the, uh, the, the lifeguard's chair, cause you know, that's, that's what you do, um, <laughs> you know, it's a nice view of the beach and all that jazz, um, but, uh, you know, I get there and I'm like, you know, I'm sitting on the thing. I'm like a little scared that I might get murdered, but like, it's fine. It's nothing, it's nothing too bad. And so I see like, you know, a dark figure just like go. Oh, actually, I think I had that there for a specific reason. Oops, it's okay. Um, I go and, um, I'm sitting up on this lifeguard's chair, right? And I just see like a figure in the distance <laughs> and I get a little worried like at the entrance of the of the beach because that's where I am I'm right by the and I get a little worried so I shine my flashlight there I'm like ah, this man I uh, <laughs> I may not do much but I, I'd like my life please and um, I shine my light on it and it's it's a skunk, man. It's a freaking skunk on the beach. And I'm like, Mr. Skunk, excuse me. I am sorry to disturb your beach today, but I am I am currently occupado uh, for this beach right now. I, w I would really appreciate it if you leave. I think there are actually two of them. There were two skunks, so maybe, maybe they were on a beach date or something. Or maybe they were just friends hanging out. I don't know. But <laughs> it was just, that was, that was the extent of... That, yeah, that's, that's literally how exciting my life is, okay? I saw a skunk on the beach, and that's, that's, that's the most exciting I can, I can offer you in terms of tales of what I've done, <laughs> so, it's, uh, you know, real, real, real fun time, you know? I really lead a real exciting life. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really not a, a beach person, if I'm gonna be honest, like, I usually, like, I usually am just, I, I just want to stay home. I'm such a, I'm such, it's, it's so bad. I just, I literally just would rather stay home and just, I don't even know, like, hang out or play video games or whatever, but, oh my gosh, like, it was fun when I was, like, a kid and all that stuff, and you'd, like, go and you'd, like, build holes, or not build holes, dig holes, or, like, make, like, sandcastles and stuff, but it's just, like, not the same vibe anymore, man, like, I don't even know what it is. Like you get to the beach and you're like, you know what? You know what's? You know what I really want to do right now? What I really want to do? 
let's just build a hole and it's like <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know i remember one time i was on vacation somewhere and i'm you know i'm you know i just you know my family's like tanning or whatever and i'm like i i don't that's not that does not sound like a good time to me like yeah let me just get like burned by the sun like <laughs> That's 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 a that's a great way for my pasty pale skin. Gotta love that skin cancer, but <laughs> you know I'm just like all right. So I just go and I, I start digging this like giant hole and stuff. And this dude with the camera, he, it's not creepy. He just took a picture of the hole, not me. I, I promise. And I'm just like all right, cool, whatever, man. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's that's about it. And then oh, I remember I saw like a really big blue jellyfish on that vacation too it was just like yeah i just remember everyone was like crowding around it like the lifeguard was there and then it was like everyone was like whoa what what's that what and it was like it was big it had really long tentacles too it was crazy and then i remember my family was like they were like yeah well, sure that happened i'm like no man like listen it was a, uh, it, it was a time <laughs> Later. So do you guys want to hear a cool B fact that I learned the other day? Um, the answer is yes, of course you do, because <laughs> you're going to hear it whether you like it or not. Um, so it's, it's very sciencey, very nerdy, and I, th I think you're, you're going to like it uh, a lot. So uh, bumblebees can, uh, you know, the fat little guys, they can, um, they can tell like stuff with electric fields because oh my gosh go oh, that's the wrong way okay that's good enough okay so um blah, 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 blah. you probably know that pollen has a negative charge and bees are positively charged bees are positively charged because as the bee flies around uh friction from the air rubs electrons off on its hairs so you know, since there are fewer electrons, it has a positive charge. So the cool thing about the bees, though, and how they use this to uh, interact with flowers is, um, you know, since the, um, you know, since the bee has the uh, positive charge, but the flower has a negative charge, they kind of act like a, a magnet. So they're, you know, attract it like they um, they attract each other. So the bee, when it flies by uh, the flower, it just get, gets kind of like pulled into that direction. So it gets like, you know, gets pulled towards the flower with all the pollen. And that's how they know like, oh, this, um, this flower has pollen in it and I need to take that. So depending on how strong the, um, you know, the negative charge from the uh, bees are, um, the bee can know how much pollen is on the flower slash if other bees have been there before so if it has like like you know there's they're obviously still gonna get technically a pull but like you know if it's uh <gasps> i'm okay uh, um if uh you know it's it's still a pull but if it's like a stronger pull then it's like oh uh other flower other other flowers other bees may have not been there or maybe this flower just isn't producing as much pollen so maybe they'll skip it or they'll just like go back to it later or something like something funky like that um but you know if it's if it's less strong then they're like oh it's you know it's already been visited maybe it's not really worth landing on this flower so yeah also also other cool science fact it's not bee related so it's not quite on brand for my channel but platypuses um wait is that right is it pla platypus platypuses platypi <laughs> platypi like a platypus pie wait that's really funny i like that um anyways uh platypuses or platypi what i don't know it's, it's probably platypuses and i'm just overthinking it like a crazy person um they they glow in the dark or not glow in the dark they glow under they glow under a uh, black light and so yeah so perry the platypus is an accurate depiction of um of an actual uh platypus so yeah and the funny thing is the guy actually designed perry before they were like oh yeah this is a scientific breakthrough well it's not really a breakthrough it's just kind of a cool thing because i don't think they actually know why <gasps> I'm sorry, I'm so dramatic whenever I fall off of anything and I barely take a heart of damage. Um, 
See, I did like a half kind of cool parkour thing like a second ago, and I just messed it up again. But, um, yeah, as I was saying, the guy actually, uh, you know, designed Perry before they made the, like, you know, the discovery in the science community. So, I mean, like, they might have kind of a, a prophecy thing going on in the uh, Phineas and Fur production team. I'm not going to confirm or deny anything, but I'm not going to lie. I would not be surprised if they have some prophetic things going on there. Is this what I do? I'm pretty sure that's right. Hold on. Does it look? Yeah. 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 I'm right. I'm right. I'm so right. I am right all the time. I am never wrong. Never doubt me. I'm never wrong. Okay. Mm, parkour. Well, I kind of, no, I didn't. I didn't kind of make it. Honestly, I'm not surprised that I keep it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Well, this is supposed to be upside down anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I could just, yeah. Boom. That's completely wrong. Um. There we go. That's right. Okay, okay. So the pattern is planks, 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 then stairs. Oh, I hope I have enough. Well, I probably do. Oopsies. Stairs, uh, and then upside down stairs. I'm gonna just do this because it'll be way easier to get on the other side. probably a top extra thing something funky going on guys this is gonna look so sick when i'm done with it all right what did they do based on my epic observational skills because they didn't show what blocks they were using i'm gonna go ahead and make an assumption that it looks like this and then they use slabs which i don't have right now um make that wait do i have my bucket no i can't do a sick mlg ah, i can make it though see i made it perfect absolutely stuck the landing <laughs> um you shut up you shut up you shut up shut up Sh shut up there we go then i go like this and then i'm like oh wait that's wrong and then i go like this cub Kablam. I'm gonna do that again because I'm not quite sure if that was right. Shut up! No, okay. Thanks, Ben. Didn't realize you could attack things from the boat. And I sh probably should have brought a bed, but since I'm a pro gamer, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, and I go up here, and yeah, six is plenty, but I just want to, you know, it's good. Now I have some for the other side. Wow. Wow. Okay, I'm going to go, I'm going to go do the other side. I'll be right back. Kowalski, status report. Well, Skipper, I'd say that's the best structure for a beehive I've ever seen. Actually, it's more of a, it's more of a, it's more of a bee manor house. Uh, well, it's sanctuary actually, because you know, it's literally just for the bees. So, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, actually, uh, you know what? I have another, I have another bee fact for you. Um, actually, yeah, I think this is where I'm supposed to put the. Hopefully this is where I'm supposed to put the glass. I don't really, I don't really know. We're just kind of freehanding it this way. Actually, you know what? Look at this structure thing. This literally was such, it was such an annoying pattern because I, 
Okay, I eventually got it after like the second time I did it, but it was still like really annoying to do. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie, but it was just like, oh my gosh, I kept messing up the like dimensions and stuff because like technically this is like off by a block, but I'm not really sure how I messed it up because I literally followed the instructions, but whatever. Um, yeah, it's fine. I'm so good at building and nothing nothing really matters to me um i think if i do this and then i do this yeah that seems right all right <laughs> or maybe they want me to go up one and then over one like is that is that look what well, looks better hold on uh Based on the structure, I feel like I should be going with that one instead. Thank goodness I have a silk touch pickaxe. Where is it? Don't judge me for doing this, okay? All right, cool. Um, oh yeah, I had. Oh my god, I had literally how much? Oh, I have so much stained glass, and I I literally have more glass in preparation in case this like goes south. It's crazy. Anyways, my B fact is. Um, so sometimes I I actually wrote like a little like mini uh college essay thing on this it was it was kind of cool um <laughs> i like connected it to like learning about like sciencey stuff i don't know it was pretty cool but um if you see bees flying around and you might notice sometimes that they have these little um uh like li little like sacks of uh like orange or like yellow on their legs um those are they're like little you know uh saddle bags of pollen uh they're just they're just called cell um uh sorry, pollen sacks, or I think the science, like, the sciencey name is, like, corbiculate. I'm totally butchering that, but it doesn't really matter, um, and, you know, that's where they, uh, that's, like, you know, kind of where they keep their pollen, so they can, uh, bring it back, yeah, that's right, um, so they can bring it back to the hive, but it's, like, basically what they do is, um, you know, they, you know, they get the pollen from the flower and all that jazz, and, um, they, uh, just kind of like brushing off of their their little bodies and they put it on a, actually how did I do this did I go down one no I went I stayed the same okay this is gonna be annoying but it's fine because I'm really <gasps> that scared me so much oh my gosh I no we're starting from the bottom I'm not doing that again oh that scared me so much okay um, yeah, so they kind of just brush off all the pollen to, uh, you know, that little part of their legs. So they act as like, they're, they're little tiny saddlebags for the pollen. And it's really cute. Um, yeah, so that's my B fact that I wrote about. <laughs> it was like, okay, it wasn't like my full, like, actual college essay. My actual college essay, I did write about Minecraft, and I will, I will not be sharing that with the world, okay? It was, <laughs> it was, it was kind of bad, but that's okay. Um, cause, you know, I mean, it's, it's not even really that much about Minecraft because, you know, with the, uh, you know, college applications and all that jazz, you literally only have, like, a paragraph. If you want to, like, make it into a story, you, like, literally only have, like, a paragraph of story, and then it's, like, what are all of the things that you've done in high school, you know, in terms of, um, just, like, you know, clubs, accomplishments, and if you've won any, like, awards or any, uh, stuff like that, but, um, all right, I think that looks pretty a-okay. Uh, let's see for... <laughs> it's fine. I was just gonna do like parkour and be like, whoa bam, but I can't do that. Um, yeah. Oh. Good luck. Good luck to anyone having to do a college admissions. I'm so happy I don't have to do that anymore. Um, that sucked and I hated it. And I should probably move this. Um, why is it on my over? Because it hates me. Um, yeah, that was super stressful, especially in a penny in the middle of a panini press. Like that was, ugh, that was so annoying. Cause it was just like, oh, I literally, oh my gosh, I had so much stuff like planned to do for, um, you know, for like for my application for like uh different uh just like you know activities. Like I was gonna, I'm interested in engineering. If you are not aware, I mean, <laughs> hopefully that'll stay the same for my, <laughs> however, uh. Uh, for throughout my uh you know career or whatever because uh, i think engineering school and i'd like to continue to study it but anyways back to the actual point um wait a minute did they extend it no whatever i can always break in redo it and just 
whatever um yeah no i was gonna like shadow like people at an engineering thing and it was gonna be awesome and like even you know even when like the pandemic like first started it was like oh you know it's fine as long as you're you know um uh, it's like tiny like uh it, it wasn't that bad at like the point that i was supposed to go but then it got like really really bad and they're like oh just kidding um we actually can't have you come and shadow stuff and oh it was it was really annoying and then i just like got like I just didn't want to do anything after that and it was just like oh I feel like I didn't accomplish as much as I wanted to in terms of um uh you know just you know in general of what I wanted to do during high school but at the same time I'm like I like now I'm like at the same time I'm like you're, you're literally in high school you're like kid it, it it doesn't matter and you know the like if you're like concerned about um uh, you know, just, like, getting into, like, ridiculously hard to get into, God, like, don't, don't worry about it, you know, it's so much more impressive if you, like, the way I think about it is, if you really want to do something that's, like, I'm gonna take so much damage, I don't even care, um, if you, like, are, like, I really want to go to this impressive college because you think that that's what's going to make you impressive, like, that's, no, <laughs> don't do that, like, it's so much more impressive for you to accomplish on your own like the school title really doesn't matter it's what you do with it and it's so much more impressive if you can like do amazing things without a title if that makes sense you know like oh my god i had four stacks prepared and only got oh my god that's so much okay um it's it's just so much more impressive if like you're the impressive one not the school name because like I feel like if you go to, like, one of those, like, really prestigious schools or whatever, yeah, it might be, like, fun and stuff, but at the same time, it's all you're gonna be really labeled with for a long time, and it's, like, you're so much more than a school name, like, because, like, uh, just, you know, people are just so, what the heck is that? Oh, I'll be placing it there anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um like, you're just so much more impressive than just any school title, because, <laughs> you know, you're a person, you're not an institution, so, you know, don't, don't make yourself out to be just that, because <laughs> you're, yeah, I don't know, that's, that's my look on it, M maybe it's dumb, I don't know, but, I don't know, I felt like that's something I really needed to hear when I was doing because I got, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a generally nervous person. So I got like, I got really caught up in like, oh man, I have to go to the school. I have to like, because like, this is the only way that I'll like be able to prove myself as like smart or like, um, you know, like talented or like whatever. But it's just like, it's just so stressful and it's, it's so draining and stressful and just total. it's just not worth it like i'm so much happier with the school that i'm going to because i'm already out of glass are you kidding me whatever um i'm so much happier like going to the school that i'm going to right now and like you know even like stuff that i started learning about after i had you know gotten into the school and accepted um it was like it was I, that's when i knew it was like definitely way better for me and all that stuff and you know also like even if you're like yeah this school's perfect it's definitely like what I want and everything like that um why would you want to go to a school that doesn't want you you know it's like <laughs> yeah I, the, the feeling has to be kind of mutual and yeah it's gonna suck for a while and you know if you get rejected which <laughs> but you know uh you probably are likely to get rejected if you're you know you know, aiming, aiming wicked high, but, um, look at those bow skills, they're absolutely horrendous, um, but, you know, just don't worry about it, <laughs> school's such a tiny part of what you'll want to do, and I really feel like your life should come down to something more than a school, because, <laughs> you know, yeah, I'm just you're bigger than that, but that's, that's, that's just my general advice from a kid who's, uh, playing Minecraft, <laughs> so, I, I don't know, you can, uh, do, do, do what you wish with that advice, 
Uh, excuse me while I make a ton more, a ton more glass. But. Oh my gosh, putting on that glass took, oh, <laughs> literally forever. Oh my gosh, no, but I, we are so close to finishing this build, guys. We are, we are literally, we are so freaking close. We are, we are almost there. Just, it's literally just the, the final touches, but I'm excited because I think this is going to turn out great if I can uh, somehow figure out how to actually put on the oak fence gates the way I want to. There we go. Oh my gosh. Anyways, um, more things to talk about. Um, what have I been doing recently? Um, I've been watching a lot of, I'm surprisingly, I've been watching a lot of the, uh, the Great British Baking Show, which is, you know, it's a, it's a great show. It's very wholesome. Um, I'm not watching the, the normal, like, uh, 2020 i think season uh i'm watching the uh, the beginning season which i believe was in 2012 so um yeah i'm about i don't know maybe half a little more than halfway i think through uh through this season and uh, oh my it's it's such a great show you know it's just so relaxing watching all the people bake and they're so nice too like apparently um uh if any of the contestants like start crying or whatever like if like if, when they're really upset with like their bakes or anything like that apparently the uh the hosts like come and say like brands that they're not supposed to say on tv so that them crying gets cut out and i'm like oh that's 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 so nice that's so wholesome i love it uh yeah oh jeez. um yeah so i'm hoping that uh, in this season, the older fellow, I think his name is, like, B Brendan, I'm not sure, um, I kind of hope he wins, because his bakes have been, you know, the best, if I do say so myself, uh, in my opinion, um, but, like, because they've, they've just been so, like, complex and creative, and, you know, I just, I don't know, maybe, maybe not, but, hey, maybe, maybe someone will just, like, well, bam, surprise, like, last minute, out of the bag, uh, come out with, uh, some, some excellent picks of <laughs> to, to win Star Baker, or, oh, what's, I don't really know if they have a, a special title for, um, whoever wins the, uh, thing overall, I don't think it's quite, oop, my goodness, there we go, I don't think it's, I don't think it's, is it, like, Superstar Baker? <laughs> I quit. I regularly. I, I don't remember. Ah, uh, okay. How do I do this so it does what I want it to? Do I literally? Oh, okay. That works. Yeah. But I don't know. That's, that's, that's just pretty much what I've been doing, like working on this and watching Great British Baking Show. Because, oh my gosh, this, this is, this is a very, this is probably the biggest build that I've like attempted so far. And it's like, um, you know, however, my, however, uh, like, much of the supplies you think you need, you, you need, like, four times as much, it's, it's, oh, this is, this is a big boy build, but I'm really loving how it's coming out so far, and I'm, I'm so happy to just, you know, be putting the final touches on it, because I think it looks, it looks really nice, yes, yes, um, oh, jeez, yeah, Oh, you know what? Speaking of baking, I'm hopefully I'm thinking like for if I reach any milestones with this channel, hopefully I'll be able to do some baking for the uh, for the milestones. I think that'd be pretty funny. Uh, you know, like maybe make like I don't know a Minecraft cake or something, or I don't know. I just think it'd be fun because like <laughs> I I'm not gonna do like any of those like crazy like uh like numbers associated with the numbers because i feel like that's that's so much to do <laughs> to deal with but um uh wait where does this one go it's at the bottom of that one okay because i feel like like as you as you get to each of those milestones it becomes like so much more <laughs> to do and it's like overwhelming and then you're like ah, i don't want to do that many no see what i mean about see what i mean about needing like four times as much the materials that you thought you needed yeah that's that's what's coming into play right here but yeah no so hopefully you know as i uh become a little bit more dedicated with the channel uh have a have a head of a, a bit of a more regular schedule hopefully we'll be able to meet those milestones and um you know ha have some fun with it and you know i don't know i, 
I think I think it'd be cool. I don't know. Maybe maybe not. We'll see. But yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at how nice that. Oh, oh, oh! I love the way this is turning out so far. Oh, I'm so excited. We are almost there, guys. Almost there. I think we just. I just gotta finish up that outside, and then it's interior time, and then we get to see all the bees that I collected. All right. The moment you've all been waiting for. The final decorations. All right. So I did a little bit of work just because I had to plan this out. So we just got you know the big old the big old pots. Uh, and some lanterns going here, but oh, would you look at that? Look at how many bee nests I have. Look at how many flowers I have. So yeah, let's 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 do this now. Let's 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 put some bad boys in. You know, we just gotta gotta just go ham. You know, put them put them put them in every pot. Put them all over the place. Make it look make it look beautiful with all the fun colors and all that jazz. And we already used those. Let's let's move on to some. Some funky colors, uh, okay, mostly we just have the, the different, ooh, ooh, everything's so pretty, okay, I should get some darker colors over here, I'm thinking maybe an orange, maybe, hmm, actually we had too many tulips over there, what if I put this one here, this one, ah, here, Lily of the Valley. Oh, you know. Oh, you already know. It's gonna be right there. And then we get, and then we get, we get the, the, should we get the daisy? Or, you know what, no. We put the allium. Then we put the daisy. Oh, oh, would you look at that? Oh, the bees are gonna appreciate this so much. It's gonna be so beautiful. It's gonna be so beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Let's put the daisy there. I don't think we've used a white tulip yet. Let's put that in there. I'll spice it up a little bit. Uh, let's see if we should get some orange popping in here again. Uh, that looks beautiful. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't think we've used this yet over here. Oh, what the, what am I doing? What am I doing? We haven't even done a, uh, I'll put that one there. We haven't even done a, uh, a, a dandelion yet. What? That's like the, that's like the bee's whole like thing the flower man all right what's over here that looks kind of weird do we have too many daisies oh no we're just missing one right here <gasps> beautiful beautiful it looks a little funky but that's okay we're not here to we're not here to judge maybe we should put some more some more over here you know what? i really do like the the purple over here oh yes oh no that looks kind of weird um let's put some pinks ah pink and ignore the zombie sounds i don't really know where they're coming from and i don't really plan to learn where they're coming from uh maybe we should put lily of the valley in there come on oh that looks lovely that looks lovely all right let's let's spruce up the other side a little bit just a little bit uh maybe we should go with some oranges over here Ooh, ooh. Ooh, that one's too close. Ooh, never mind. It looks better. It looks better like that. Because I'm amazing at decorating. Alright, that looks pretty. What should we add next to the... Should we do the white tulips? Hmm? No, no, no. Let's keep it with the... Let's keep it with the pink. We have a lot of the pink. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, would you look at that? That looks so pretty. It's gonna look so weird. <laughs> when I step back, but I don't even really care. It's gonna look great right now. All right, all right, now, now we had the bees, people. Now we had the bees. Be cool, be cool, be cool, be cool. Join the be cool, subscribe, na na. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Are you excited? I'm so excited, I'm so excited. All right, get, get the flowers, get the mushrooms out of here. We're putting in some bee nests, people. All right, first one. Okay, there were no bees in that one. I put bees in one of these, all right? I swear. I swear there are bees in here. <laughs> uh, I don't know which ones, but... <gasps> see? See? I told you. Look at the bees. Look at the bees. Look at the bees. Wait, is the door closed? Hold on. I have to make sure the door is closed. There are no bees getting out of here. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh, this is a fun day. This is a very fun day. I think there should be a few more with actual with bees in them. Uh, Not that one, though. Haha. <laughs> mm-hmm. Haha, uh -huh. see, I knew, I knew that. 
yeah okay maybe there weren't as many venus with bees in them as i thought but that's okay that's okay because oh my gosh this is so exciting uh i don't want to put one like in the middle i want to like oh i wanted to have one that lined up with the door let's see and yeah oh i'm i'm totally lost my block that's okay it's okay it's okay where should we put it should we put it at the top i'll put it right there whoa that looks cool that looks really cool you know let's put some down here put some uh you know kind of next to it you know Got that one there ooh 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 uh, how many blocks away? It was one block. It's just right there. Make it even. Make it nice. Ooh. Oh, this is cool. This is beautiful. There's so many. All right, all right, all right. Uh, let's add a couple right here. All right, all right, all right. And then on the other side, we'd like symmetry. Symmetry is very beautiful. Also, I will be breeding. Oh, look at that. There's more bees. There's more bees. Oh, you can't escape. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> oh this is so beautiful everything is beautiful this is so beautiful all right i was gonna put the two beehives like here and then the other side but then that did not really work out so i'm just gonna put it there and then the other one uh i put it closer to the door and i ran out of hunger <laughs> it's okay and then i'll just uh eat my steak really quickly and go like this i'll probably add a second one right next to it a little bit later and you know some vines making it look nice and fancy and cozy but oh my gosh this is so exciting and i gotta i gotta i gotta add some fires people we we gotta get these bees we gotta get the honey from some of these bees i mean come on look at that oh this is this is a grand day this is an excellent day Alright, uh, let's maybe, maybe breed some of the bees. Nope, none of them are out. Okay, well, <laughs> oh, one of them is, uh, two of them are. Come here, come here. I see you, I see you, B. And then I see you, and I see you, and I go B. And then we, and then you're like, hello, hello, baby B. <gasps> baby B, look at the baby B. Look at it, look at it. It's so cute, it's so cute. Hi, <laughs> hi, you're all so beautiful. Breed. Make more, make more bees, more bees, more bees, more bees. Yes, yes, yes. Fill this sanctuary with as many bees as you can. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, I'm having the time of my life right now. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let me give you. Let me give you a once through of the of the whole of the whole sanctuary before I before I wrap this thing up. Alright. So here, let me let me get in the get in the get in the fancy mood. Alright, so you come ignore that. You come here. Alright. Yes, okay, this needs a little bit of work, but don't worry about it. Pretend it looks really cute. Alright? And then you come in, you open the door and you're like, oh my gosh, it's bee time. This is my favorite time. And then you just come and you look and everything's pretty and beautiful and there are bees everywhere and they're gorgeous and I love them all with my entire fiber of my being. <gasps> Anyways <laughs> that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed and of course please join the bee cult if you haven't already just hit that subscribe button i mean look at these guys look at how cute they are look at how hard working they are tell me you wouldn't want to join the bee cult all right worship them love them <laughs> all that fun stuff look at the baby bee look at the baby bee you know what you, you gotta subscribe for the baby bees anyways i hope you guys enjoyed and that is it for today's video i'll see you guys soon bye